guys, it's Nika. Today I'm doing my November favorites video. I absolutely enjoyed my November because it's the shopping season, it's the holiday season. This month just give me so many excuses to shop more. So I absolutely got a lot of stuff and I also get to try the new stuff that I bought. So that's why I have a lot of favorites in this video. So without being further ado, let's just get into the video. And I have my little tea here just in case I get thirsty. The first thing I want to talk about is this Lash Ultifix Fresh Face Mask. I have never been a lash person because I think their scent and their smell are too strong for me. Every time when I walk by the lash store, I'm like, oh, shh, this is too strong, not for me. But the other day I was bored and I went shopping and I saw lash store and I was like, okay, maybe I can just go check it out. And I wanted to go find some face mask because my skin is acting up this month. Um, I get pimples and my skin is very dry in the winter. So I went in the store and I told the person who worked there and I said I want some refreshing and hydrating mask. And she told me about this Odifix mask. And what's in it is a um, blend of bananas and vanilla, ground almonds, and oats. I love this mask because it really hydrates my skin and refreshes my skin and most importantly after I use this mask my pimple just got smaller. It calmed down a little bit so that's why I love this mask and I actually already finished it so this is how much I love this product. Uh, yeah so this is my first favorite. The next thing I want to talk about is this NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Um, I have combination skin type. Like some part of my face are very oily and some parts are very dry. So what this foundation does is that it gives you moisture and it gives you that natural glow on your face but it doesn't add any oil or like oily shine on your face. That's what I like most about this foundation and this Shade also fits my skin tone perfectly, which is very rare because it's very hard for me to find a perfect shade for my skin tone in America. So yeah, this shade is perfect for me. I would say if your skin is very dry in the winter or combination, this foundation will be your best friend. So yeah, I love it. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighters. I talk about these highlighters in my Sephora haul video, if you didn't watch that. And I bought the shade Opal first because um, in my local Sephora, they don't have Becca in there. So I bought this online and I didn't know which shade I should choose. So I bought Opal first because it seems like this is the most popular one. And I absolutely love this one. This one gives you like a more rosy golden tone. I would say if you have a slightly darker skin tone than me, then this will look perfect on you. Because this is not my skin tone, so I went ahead and bought Moonstone online again. And this is my skin tone. I would say if you have a paler skin or same skin tone as me, and this is perfect for you. And these highlighters just gives you that very natural, healthy glow on your cheek. And I applied this for the first time when I went to work the other day, and my coworker was like, Wow, you look so healthy and glowing today. I was like, yep, because I have my secrets. So yeah, usually what I do is I just use my uh, highlighter brush and I just put it on my cheekbone and it just looks beautiful and flawless. And I also use a big uh, powder brush and sort of like dust it all over my face. So the shimmer will go like all over your face, give your skin that natural glow. It looks just perfect and beautiful on your face and if you maybe didn't sleep well and you still want to look presentable these are your best friends and I absolutely love them the next thing I want to talk about is this Tarte Pinup Girl Amazonian Clay Blush 
palette. I absolutely love this palette. I fall in love with it and I can't live without it. Um, it basically has five shades in it and every shade of them are as beautiful, okay? And um, this natural shade here are perfect for when you don't have makeup on but you have but you want to have some color on your face or when you have little makeup or when you just want to have a natural look. And this one is um, a deeper compared to other shades. This one is deeper, like rosy tone, and it has shimmer in it. I actually have it on my face today. It just gives you that natural rosy tone on your face, and I absolutely love it. And I will say this one is more for fall and winter, and these three are more for um, spring and summer, because these three colors are more like lively and colorful. And this shade in the middle is a baby pink color. I would say this one will look beautiful on Asian skin tone or pale skin. When you swatch it on your hands, it looks pretty dramatic. But I promise you, when you apply this on your face, you look at least 5 years younger than you really are. And this one is a coral color. And I love this one too. This one will look, I think this one will look good on either dark, um, medium skin tone, or pale skin tone. I think coral is just a magic color that everyone will look good in it. And this one is a little bit lighter than this one. And this one is more on the pinky side too. And this one also looks beautiful on your face. So I absolutely love this palette and you have so many color choices here. And the pigmentation is very good and I just love them. I can't live without them now, so, yep. And the next thing I want to talk about is this Tarte Lip Tint. I actually got this lip tint in this Tarte Holiday Set. If you watched my Sephora haul video, you would know that. Um, I love this lip tint. I actually have it on right now. And the reason I love it is because it fits a lot of different kind of makeup look. I wore this when I didn't have my makeup on, and I wore this when I have just natural look. And this shade just fits every makeup look that I had so far. So that's why I love it. And I would say this is more like a watermelon color. And I can you see it on my hand? And it's so pigmented and it's so hydrating, and I absolutely love it. I think you can tell from how much I use it already. That's why I love it. And the next thing I want to talk about is this MAC Holiday Brush Set. I want to talk about these is because I have bought many other holiday brush sets before, either from MAC or other brands, but I find that the packaging of the brush set are very cute and attractive, but the actual product is not that good. But these products... Oh, <clears throat> But these products are actually very good in quality. That's pretty surprising to me because I bought other MAC um, holiday brush before and they were not as good as these ones. So that's why it was surprising and I have to give a shout out to them too. So good job MAC! You have a very good brush quality in this year's holiday set. So I'm impressed. I also like that they basically give you all the essential brushes that you have to use for everyday uses. So you have a like powder brush, a foundation brush, uh, eyeshadow, two eyeshadow brushes, and a, a eyeliner brush. So I think basically if you have these five brushes, you're good for everyday uses. So that's the other reason I love these brushes too. So good job, Mac! Next thing I want to talk about is this uh, YSL Brow Pencil. This is definitely an oldie but goodie because I bought this probably like two years ago and I forgot to use it because I discovered Anastasia and I fall in love with Anastasia so I just forgot about this one but lately I ran out of my Anastasia so I was like oh, I don't have my eyebrow pencil what should I do so I found this in my drawer and I was like oh I, I didn't even remember I had this, so I used this. And I have to say that 
this is actually better than Anastasia. I know I hate to say that, but this is true. This is very creamy and this just goes on very easily and smooth and the good thing about this brush is that it's very easy to use. I would say easier than Anastasia, I'm sorry to say that, but it's very easy to use and it gives you that very natural look and I forgot how good these eyebrow pencil is, so I just use it again. The only thing I don't like about this uh, pencil is that it's not my shade anymore uh, because I used to have darker hair before so I bought this shade but it's not my shade anymore so I will probably go back and get another one that fits my eyebrow now so I love this eyebrow pencil and you have to check it out if you haven't so yeah so I think that's all my beauty favorites and let's go on to my random favorites! My first random favorites I want to talk about is... Are... Oh! My teas! I love my tea, okay? So... Oh! So... Uh oh. Almost spilled my tea. But I've been drinking tea nonstop this month because I've been sick and my throat is very dry and it just feels really weird so I drink a lot of tea in this month and my favorite is this peppermint mocha tea by Jenna's Gypsy Tea and I bought these at Whole Foods and this one just tastes like heaven the peppermint in it really comfort my throat and the most importantly they're peppermint mocha and they're my favorite flavors. Oh, I just love it so much. I'm sorry. And I also have this banana chocolate. Oh my god, this one tastes so good too. And this one is from the Republic of Tea. And I also have pineapple and lychee, or lychee, depends on how, how you pronounce it. And they are also from the Republic of Tea. And they literally taste like um, pineapple and lychee in your mouth in liquid form. They taste so good. Oh my god. And I also have this um, coconut flavor also by the Republic of Tea and I also love coconut and that's why I love this tea and basically I've been living with these teas all day every day in the month of November and I love them. So they are my first random favorites. And uh oh. And the next favorite is my new wallet. Oh my god guys, look at the color. I love the color. I would say this is like the pastel pinkish purple color. And I love how big this wallet actually is. And it has three compartments. I used to hate big wallet like this because I, I thought it's too big and I didn't know how to use it. I didn't have that much stuff to put in it. But now I absolutely love it because I can put my whole world in my wallet now. And so yeah, I love this wallet and I love this little back card pocket here so like when some people give you their business card you can just stick in it or like you are too lazy to pull off your credit card or your ID you can just stick in here too so it's pretty convenient and I love this wallet and uh, I think my last but not least random favorite is my Jumbo Gym Box speaker I love 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 this speaker because it's very small, I can bring it to everywhere, anywhere I want. I have a bigger speaker in my living room, but when I play music, I can't just bring the speaker everywhere because it's too big. But this one is small. Usually when I'm cleaning the house, and I just bring this everywhere, in every room I go to. So this speaker leads to my monthly music favorite, which is... I don't want to say it. I want I want you to listen to it. Come on, emails. We're 
Okay, so guys, that's all my favorite for the month of November. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you all had a good month and I hope you all had a good Black Friday. And thank you very much for watching and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!